this is actually a project with um, four bowls. I got four bowls here. Little ice cream bowls, and they have a rim on them. Um, we're doing these in fun strokes. Um, I'm going to make it very simple. Um, so we got um, using Grape Escape, which is 2320, and I'm using 2382, which is um, Tahiti Teal. And I also have two Fun Rider bottles filled, one with one that is 2323 jump and juniper and 2300 which is what i call polar bear and that's what we're going to be using so um you're going to need a soft fan brush um, you're going to need water um, i'm going to put this on very uh like kind of watery i'm not going to put it on really strong so you want to shake up the this is the grape escape now, I'm going to do two bowls with Grape Escape. Like I said, I'm going to water it down a little, and this is how I'm going to do this, because I don't want it too heavy. I'm not solid coating these, so as I'm doing the inside, I'm just going to do a coat. I think I'm only going to do one coat, actually, because I kind of want it washy, a little bit washy. I don't want it solid. That's it. Now I am going to do, make sure I do my edge. And I'm going to bring it right around to the rim. Now I'm going to do it so that it's okay if I get a little on the down on the bowl because I'm going to clean that up. It's just easier for me to clean it up than to try to be perfect going around that edge. So as you can see, it's a little bit messy. That's okay. All right, that's one. I'm gonna do two like this. Again, I'm trying to circle the bowl. So if you can see this, I'm just kind of circling it. Um, I kind of tend to brush the weight of the bowl. So instead of, I'll water it down a little bit more and uh, I just kind of follow the pattern of the bowl when I'm doing this type of washy look. Do the edge. This should be pretty simple. There's four bowls, so we don't want to make it um, long and complicated. But they're nice little ice cream bowls to have as a nice little set, and you can stack them, which makes it nice. Okay, make sure you don't have like white showing. I just want to make sure my white is covered. Okay, so I got these two. Now I'm going to take another bowl. I'm going to rinse my brush. I mean, another little plate. I'm going to put those two aside, and now I'm going to do my um, Tahiti teal. Okay, now it's time to clean them up before I do the bottom. I'm going to rinse my brush, put that aside. Um, now I'm going to take a sponge and I've got another thing of clean water here. So I'm going to take the sponge, wring it out, and I'm going to start with these because I did these first. And now I'm just going to go around that edge so that I can clean up clean up where I went over the edge. Does it need to be perfect? So you're just cleaning up this edge. Sometimes I use like my nail against the the little edge of the sponge so I can get a nice uh, more even line to wipe it off with. OK, 
Okay, now, now that these are all these edges are cleaned up, let me show you a way to, um, this is my favorite brush right here. Uh, Gaia sells this brush. Um, it's from the Moderna line and it ha it's just a small, as you can see, a small little square brush. It's my favorite brush and I'm gonna show you why. It's not something I would just paint a lot of stuff with, but if this is how I get all my lines so perfect, is I take, I dip the, take the sponge out of there, I dip it into the, um, to the water, I dab it off a little bit, and I do this right across the edge. That gives me my perfect line. And I go across the whole thing. Now, I didn't have to get so close with the sponge because if you do this, you're gonna clean up all your edges really nicely. This is a great brush for cleaning up edges. It's a little tip that it's just, since I've been doing this, um, it's made my life a lot easier with painting. I use this all the time, especially with glazes because the glazes don't dry for a little bit. Like you can clean them or wash them off anytime before it's fired. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take all these bowls just going to make my little edge line there so I get a nice edge. This is why it was a lot quicker to just rub over, you know, glaze over that that line because I can clean up the edge so easy. That was quicker than trying to get a perfect edge on there. So this project takes uh, four bowls. Um, you know, you can do three if you want. I only did four because I like to alternate the colors. So when they get stacked, they stack like this. If you only have three, it just looks a little different. So I just like this um, stacking in four. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the... Um, Jumpin' Juniper to do the bottoms. So this is a little bit darker of a teal than the Tahiti teal. So now, now I'm gonna use, instead of the soft fan brush, I'm gonna use this, uh, it's sort of like a number 12 round, I believe, 12 or 14. You want kind of a big round brush. Um, and now I'm gonna do this to each one. I'm gonna take the, I'm not gonna water this one down doesn't mean I'm going to do really solid coats, but I want to get at least one nice coat in there. Now I want to just kind of go up to the line a little bit. I'd rather not overlap it now because you can't really clean off the top part without scraping them. So now I'm going to do this and just paint the bottoms of all these bowls, all four bowls with this Tahiti Teal. Now, I am going to do one more coat. I'm going to do two coats of this darker color. So I'm going to do another coat. You can see that the um, it dries very, very quickly. Um, the first coat always absorbs in very, very quickly. And now when I paint it, I'm going to go a little bit slower because I now I want it to you know, go on a little bit more evenly, a little bit nicer. I'm just following the, um, following the bowl. I want to get that bottom area done first. So now I'm floating the color on a little bit better. I'm not, you know, when you're painting with glazes, the fun strokes or any of the underglaze type, uh, type of type of colors, you want to uh, just float the color. Don't don't keep brushing it and brushing it because what you're going to get if you keep brushing it and it dries out, you're going to get all these little pilly things that are all over your piece and they're, they're just a paint and it, it doesn't go on as even. So you want to load your brush and float the color on. Very slow, very light touch. Not trying to rush it. See how nice it's going on. That's what you want to do. So you don't get that, those little, the, the, the uh, color just doing that pilling thing where it's harder to put on 
and it's just that means you're going on too light you're spreading trying to spread the color out in the brush too much that means you're not loading up your brush correctly so you want to get enough color on your brush that you can just glide along that edge you can see how the color is going on nice and smooth by doing it this way by if I keep loading my brush now I can see where my second coat ends, which is right about here. And that's it. So you want to do this to all of these bowls. This is, like I said, a darker teal. So I'm going to do it to the teal bowls and the ones I did in the grape slush. So. Okay, now, um, now that I got my four bowls all painted with the uh, Jumpin' Juniper on the bottoms of all the bowls, on the top of these two bowls is the Tahiti Teal, just one coat. The bottoms are all two coats. Tops of these bowls in the inside and the rim are also, these are, um, these are Grape Slush, uh, one coat you know, watered down, sort of um, very thin. And then um, again, just the jumping juniper uh, on the on the bottoms. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is before I do anything else or decorate anything, because I wanna put some dots and a, and a few things on these bowls. Um, before I do any of that, I'm gonna take the Black Lab in a Fun Rider bottle. I'm gonna use this, but I'm gonna show you before you do that, you might wanna pencil this in. So I'm gonna write, I'm gonna do very, very light. I'm doing this very, very light. I'm writing ice cream. Now you can trace this from a pattern if you want, or you can just, you know, wing it. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just, you know, spelling the words. Whoops, be careful when you're writing because um, what happens is sometimes when you're writing real slow, you spell words wrong. I know I do it all the time. But um, so you wanna, that's why you pencil it in before you put on with uh, with the fun write and actually put it on in black. So, um, so that's why I always pencil it in because if I don't like it, I can just kind of lightly rub it, rub that off what I wrote and start over again. It's probably good to write it out first, like I scream on, so you spell it correctly. I S C R E A M. So you, I'm going to write I scream on the first one. Now that's going to be at the top. So my second one's going to be one of these with the great color on it. So now I'm going to write you scream. And I think I'm going to just use the word, the, the letter U, instead of writing Y-O-U. I'm going to write the scream again. I'm not very fancy, uh, a fancy writer, so I don't really, I mean, I could take the time and, you know, put them all on um, so that... You know, I could put them all on a little bit more um, carefully, like by tracing a pattern of nice lettering or something like that. But I just want to kind of make this simple. So the ice cream, you scream, as you can see, I've got them so far like this. And then uh, my next bowl is going to be this blue one again. So I'm going to put the teal one. 
So I'm just going to put the word for on this. Already this one I'm going to put capital letters just to make it look a little bit different than the rest. So I'm going to put for. And then the last one's going to say ice cream. And now, if I had a little design of an ice cube, I'd put ice cream, but I don't. So I'm going to put I. C E ice cream. I'm going to spell this one out. Okay, so they're going to say ice cream, you cream, for ice cream. That's why I got the four bowls. Now, I'm going to, now I can go over my, now I can go over my um, pencil with the, uh, remember, do this very light. Do not write it dark with the pencil because. The lead in the pencil and the dust, the dust on the pencil when you write it dark, just kind of stays on the piece. It makes it harder to write, write over it. So you want to do this. Now I'm going to use the fun writer. Best way to use the fun writer is holding it sideways, not like this. If I hold it up like this, it's going to come out too thick. But if I hold it sideways and and kind of wipe it off a lot. I mean, I tend to do this. This is what I tend to do. So um, just seems easier for me than to do it on the sponge because I can always wash this off my hands later. Make sure your tip is on very good. I'm using the fine tip with the black, which is the yellow, so I can write it a little bit thin. You don't have to have it this thin, though. You can write it thicker if you'd like, whatever way you want to put your, um, your letters on. If you want big, thick lettering, that's fine, too. to let these dry before you go on to touch any of the rest of the bowls because if it doesn't dry you're gonna have a problem you're gonna end up smudging it it's gonna be very hard to clean up uh, if you do smudge any of the letters don't try to clean it up while it's wet because you're just gonna ruin all your color underneath it's gonna make a mess just let it dry and then you can maybe scrape it off to clean it up that's the best way to do it Now your pencil marks are going to fire out in the kiln, so you don't have to worry about those. As long as you wrote it very light. Um, okay, now I got all my um, my bowls done. Um, now I can decorate and put some dots and do whatever I want with the rest of them once that's dry. So I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes. Okay, now I have my four bowls and I have... Um, wrote the ice cream you scream for ice cream um teal tomorrow 2310 i'm going to take this one in the fun writer shake it down now i always no matter when i use these colors i always shake it up first and i always try it on a paper or something before i actually go to my piece now let me take the two blue ones. This will be the easiest way to show you. So I'm going to take the two blue, the two with the teal on it, okay, instead of the, the purple. Um, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to dot the tops of these bowls. So I'm just going to dot around the whole top edge because you're going to see that little edge even when they're stacked. Now the fun ride is very easy to make dots. You can just do it quick. If you mess one up, just wait till it's dry. Once they're all dry, you can scrape them off and, and re redo them or fix them. But don't try to touch it when it's wet. While it's wet, it's not gonna, it's just gonna make a mess. They don't have to be perfectly even. No measuring here, just going around the bowl. Now, once you get that top part done, I'm also going to put a little bit extra going around, okay? So now you can do any design you want. I'm only going to do it on the rim. Um, 
I think I'm gonna do with this with these dots I think what I'm gonna do is just scatter some dots around it because I think this will look cute so you can see what I'm doing here this is how I'm doing this scattering them around I'm gonna do both of the Tahiti teal bowls spread them out a little bit so there are there aren't too many I do both Tahiti teal bowls with this dotting around it and the dots on the top I'm gonna do something a little different with the purple bowls you can do smaller dots put them closer together if you want to take the time you could put bigger dots you can use one of those little daughters that you that with the sponge on the end there's um and just you know make different type of dots however way you want to decorate the rim i'm sure it'll be cute now i don't want to you know of course touch my my little words there Okay, so that's this one, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing with the other tier one, okay? Okay, now I'm done these two bowls. Now, I'm gonna put these two bowls aside and I'm gonna take my, my first bowl. So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna lightly draw, I'm gonna put a dot, put a dot in the middle right here, very small. And I'm gonna pull it up like this and I pull it up this way so that you can see I'm just going across. Then I'm gonna go do it right in half. So now I've got like, a, you know, just a, um, just a cross in there. That's all I have. I've got it as even as I could. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm gonna put an extra one in the middle of those, very lightly with the pencil. Make sure your all your you know your paint in the front is dry. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sections. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but there's eight sections there. Um, you will see it once I stop putting my dots on. So I'm gonna put a big dot right in the middle, and then I'm gonna do dots up each line, just to do something a little bit different with these two bowls okay and I'm gonna go all the way I'm gonna go all the way through once I'm done this you'll get to see um, exactly what I'm doing it's hard to see the pencil marks but you can see now how dark this is so you can follow your pencil lines the best you can if you went off on the pencil lines don't worry about it just you know, you just divide it in sections. Like I said, they don't have to be all perfectly matched up. Now with these bowls, instead of putting dots all around them, I'm just gonna go from, as you can see how I have this, um, it's hard to see inside the bowl, I know, with the lighting, but um, I've got them so that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stripes inside of dots. Now I'm going to take those dots and I'm going to go on the outside, just down to the edge like this. See, I'm going to just, um, so I'm just going to continue them wherever they are. You already got them right to the top, so. Thank you. 
that's it. Um, that's about it for these bowls. And um, then you're going to stack them. And I'm not going to do that till it's dry. I'm going to let it dry. Once it's dry, I'll show you how they look stacked. And that's it for now.